Okay, this is part four of the swoop illustration. We're going to take this design that we've created and we're going to turn this into a screen printable design by converting all of our shading that we've done with our different colors into half tones. We can leave the mid tones layer and the line work layer. I'm just going to rename that line work. I'm going to start. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer between each of our color layers. I'm going to fill these with white. I'm going to press G to get to the paint bucket. I'm going to press D to reset our color palette to black and white. And then I'm going to press X to swap the foreground and background colors. I'm going to fill these layers with white. And then I'm just going to return to the selection tool. I'm going to turn off our color overlays. I'm going to duplicate each of these layers so that I can keep my color overlay. I'm going to turn these off. Now I'm going to merge these two, these two, and these two. I'm going to press Command E to merge. So the shadows are merged. Merge our highlights. Make sure our color overlays are off. And then turn off that. And turn off that. And then merge these two. Command D. E. Cool. So firstly I'm going to do our pop layer. I'm going to highlight that. Command A. I'm going to cut it. Command X. And then I'm going to go Command N to start a new file. I'm going to paste that in. The document took the same dimensions from our other document because I filled that layer with white. Otherwise it crops to the color information. Now I'm going to change the mode into grayscale and flatten it and then I'm going to convert it into a bitmap. I'm going to select 300 pixels an inch, same as our input. I'm going to use halftone screen as our method. Click OK. And so we get these options. I'm going to use 35 lines an inch and round as my shape and click OK. If you zoom in you can see that it's broken it up into tiny wee circles. I'm going to select that by pressing Command A and then Command C to copy. And I'm going to paste it back into our pop layer and just turn it off for now. I wanted to merge these, not group them. Command A, take it out of the group. Command Shift G to take it out of the group. Oh, no. Going to delete that group. Now I'm going to go Command A on highlights and Command X. Now I'm going to start a new file based on the clipboard paste it in and then do the same process. Okay now we've pasted in all of our half tone layers. I'm going to delete the white from each layer. Now on pop I'm going to go select color range, choose white by swatching white from here 
and then is going to select between each half tone. I'm going to delete the white. from the highlights layer. <laughs> See it's deleted all of the white. Now I'm going to repeat the process for the other layers. And I'm going to turn off all of the layers but the one that I'm working on. Right, now that I've done that, I'm going to re-enable our layers. I'm going to move the color overlays from the old layers onto the new halftone layers and delete the remaining ones. Cool, so if I zoom in, you can see it's all made of halftone dots now. And so when we print, it should print just these halftones. All right, now we're complete. I'm going to save it one last time as swoop illustration, heart color, half tones, V1. It's the first version of this file. Click save. All right, thank you for following along, and I'll catch you later.